Who wants to make a good cup of tea? First step, boil your water. I'm pointing to a kettle. So, I know to some people you may be like, that's a weird step to start with, of course you boil the water, but since I've spent a fair bit of time in America in the last few years, I can assure you that not all Americans know that to make a good cup of tea, you need to boil the water and they use hot water. Do not use hot water it will not brew the tea bag in the correct way next step next step get yourself a good mug a good mug is just as crucial in this relationship with tea now i don't have my mugs with me but actually i don't mind this mug it has a nice thick lip so here's another thing you can have to figure out if you like a thick lip or a thin lip i like a thick lip and we're gonna pop a tea bag in my favorite tea is Yorkshire Gold. My granddad taught me that at a very young age and I have not left that station. Um, Yorkshire Gold or Yorkshire Red, um, they are a, a very good classic tea and to me, they personally make the best brew. Pop that in there, get your boiled water and pour that, I'd say, all the way and leave an inch at the top because you need space. Okay, so you can either let this just be for a bit and let that brew, go away, come back, check the news or something, or you can give it a stirry stirry because I'm impatient. Um, and then we have the milk. So the reason why you've left that in is so that you have enough space for your milk. I um, have recently found a, sub just a, 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 a substitute for whole milk. I don't really uh, know if I trust the milk in america but um i've used oat milk because oat milk has a nice creamy silky taste and texture and it's very close to the whole milk in a tea um and that's what i've been doing for the last few years pour that in and you want it to be a good color when you pour now you also have to decide if you're a person that takes your tea bag out before the milk or you keep it in. I prefer to keep it in because that way you can really control the uh, consistency, the um, thickness and the brew on your tea. Um, you'll know what I mean. So this is the color, which I actually think is a perfect color already, but see this tea bag, as I stir it, I can make that stronger and stronger and stronger and it's also getting thicker do you see the tea is actually becoming like a thicker drink and that's what i love i like a good syrupy tea so i'm going to keep that going and then i'm pretty good with my color once you're done with your your color squeeze that tea bag out pop it in the bin and here you have a good cup of tea cool accordingly Ooh. yes that's good tea